Hello, my name is Nani and welcome to my channel where I share with you my top tips on how to look good, feel good, and smell good from the inside out. In today's video, we're talking all about smelling good. And so I wanna go ahead and share with you ladies some fragrances from my collection that were love at first sniff. So of course, this is not like my entire list of like favorite scents that I will continue to have in my collection, but these were scents where as soon as I smelled them, I knew that I would fall in love with them. And so I have six of them to mention to you. So of course, if you guys love fragrance videos and you love talking about products, you love smelling good, make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And of course, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as I mentioned to you guys, I have six fragrances to mention to you. So I kind of grouped them together. So I have kind of like my earthy, woody scents. I have two of those. And then I have my rosy scents. And then I also have my kind of like sweet, richer floral scents as well. So the first category is going to be kind of like my earthy, woody scents. I mentioned this to you guys in... I don't remember what video that was but I mentioned how much I love this scent so much and it's one of those fragrances that will definitely stay in my collection forever and this is Shiseido's Zen I don't know what to say about this scent besides the fact that it is incredible it's fresh it's like it's fresh it's citrus but it still is earthy it's a little bit woody it's very aromatic it's just it is an incredible fragrance. As I mentioned, there's a real earthiness to this scent that just makes me, I don't know, just a little bit more calm. It's very like grounding. I don't know how else to describe it, but it smells very natural. It smells like mother nature. It smells clean. It, just, it smells fresh. It just smells incredible. This is one of those scents where as soon as I opened up the box, and I saw the package and I was like, hey, yellow is one of my favorite colors. And then I basically took the top off and I smelled it. I was like, this is going to be a go-to. It's one of those fragrances that can be worn year round. It's one of those easy to wear everyday type of scents in my opinion. It's a year round fragrance. I don't, I don't think that this would necessarily be a signature scent in my opinion. It's just one of those fragrances that I absolutely love that can be worn on a yearly basis. To me, I feel like it definitely leans more on like the fresher, natural, um, earthy, woody type of side, which I love. I just feel like it just smells like your body but better, if that makes sense. I don't know how else to describe it to you guys. But I did mention this to you guys before, but I just really love the way that it smells. I love the way that it lingers on the body. It actually is a long lasting fragrance and it's extremely versatile. As I mentioned, you can wear this year round, but it does smell more like a casual scent. I think that's what I'm trying to say. It smells a little bit more casual. It's not like a nighttime dressed up date night type of fragrance at all. It's just like an easy to throw on, easy to throw in your purse type of fragrance. So again, that's going to be Shiseido Zen. It's just bomb. I really, really love that scent. Now the next fragrance that's kind of in the same category is one that I would consider to be my signature scent, just because it does have a little bit of a sweet, fruity type of element to it. And I feel like it just makes it a little bit more versatile and something that can be worn from daytime to nighttime, no matter the occasion. And that's going to be Chloe's Nomad. This scent, again, Love it first sniff. I, I smelled this, I sprayed this on my skin, and I was just like, I just fell in love immediately with this scent. I didn't even know how long this was going to last on my skin, but as soon as I sprayed it, I smelled it, I just knew that it would definitely be one of those fragrances that would be a signature scent for me, and one of those fragrances that I feel like would serve just greatly in my collection in general. It just smells, it's sweet, it's floral, it's earthy, it's woody, it's aromatic, it's, it just smells amazing. When it comes to this fragrance in the base, it does have notes of like patchouli, it has oak moss in there, I know it has jasmine note, it has a freesian note in there, so it's floral, it's sweet, it does have some fruits in there, I think it has like a peach note or something like that in there as well, but I just love the way that it actually settles into the skin. Although it's very like sweet and aromatic and floral, it's not overly sweet, it's not overly floral. And in the base, I feel like the patchouli and the oak moss definitely gives it a, a very earthy, woody, it has sandalwood in it as well. It's earthy, it's woody, it's aromatic, it's 
just very natural and very relaxing as well. I absolutely love this scent. It's actually my scent of the day. I feel like this is definitely one of those scents that a lot of women would enjoy, especially if you're someone that's a little bit sensitive to fragrance. You don't like something that's overly sweet or overly floral or overly like earthy and things like that. I feel like this is a perfect combination between all of that. As I mentioned, it's aromatic, it's citrus, it's floral, it's sweet, it's um, earthy, it's woody, it's musky. It's just, honestly, it embodies everything that I want in a fragrance, honestly. So again, this is going to be Chloe's Nomad. This is the Eau de Parfum. Now the next category is going to be my rose scents. I love rose and fragrances. I don't know about you, but I just love the way that just rose adds a little bit of an elegance, a little bit of a femininity to a scent. And I just absolutely love the way that it works on my body with my body chemistry. The first one is going to be a little bit of a true rose scent. And the difference is that when it comes to this, it smells like the rose the actual rose bud as well as the rose stem. So there's a little bit of a greenness to the scent, but I just love it. I feel like it's also a perfect everyday fragrance. And that is going to be this right here, Burberry London for her. I love this scent. It's funny because I remember somebody wrote a comment about this fragrance and I think they said that it smells like stale mint. <laughs> I was just cracking up because that's what it is with fragrance is that it's always subjective for one and i feel like depending on your body chemistry a fragrance can smell amazing on one person and it may not smell it may smell like stale mint on another person but to me i definitely do not think that this is going to smell like stale mint or it doesn't smell like stale mint at, it, at all to me but i do feel like it probably smells like that to her because as i mentioned it definitely smells like it's the rose bud and also the rose stem it's like a watery rose scent it's uh, a little bit green it has a little bit of an herbal nature to it but not like an extremely green herbaceous scent just because i've told you guys before i have a hard time wearing those fragrances but it's it's beautiful to me like this is definitely one of those fragrances that i feel like you can wear on a daily basis it's just like an easy to wear it's fresh it's sweet it's a little bit green it's uh floral obvious obviously but it just smells Pretty much that's what you get you get the fresh element to it you get a little bit of a greenness to the scent but not overly herbaceous and it's also sweet from like just the rose smell it's very feminine very light very airy very pretty and just easy to wear in my opinion and as soon as i smelled this scent and i sprayed it on my body i was like i was amazed and of course this is burberry london so it's probably one of the cheapest scents that i'm mentioning to you it's a very affordable designer brand and I just absolutely love this. This is also going to last about maybe six to seven hours, maybe five, six, seven hours on your skin, as well as on your clothes. So again, Burberry London for her is definitely a go for me. It does not smell like stale mint in my opinion. It actually smells pretty amazing. So I absolutely love this scent. The next rose fragrance as well, I did do an exclusive fragrance review on this scent, and this is going to be the Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. And this is also the Eau de Parfum and the package itself is just absolutely beautiful and I feel like it's definitely telling as to what the smell inside of it would, would smell like and it's just beautiful. This one is definitely a very, it's, I don't know, there's something about it that smells very like plush, very feminine, very soft, very delicate, a little bit powdery, it's very like, there's a sweetness to the scent because this actually has amber in it. And the amber I feel like adds a very nice kind of like smooth sticky type of sweetness to the scent but it's not overly done it's a little bit powdery it's a little bit musky but it just adds just a beautiful elegance a beautiful kind of like useful nature to the scent but it's still sophisticated at the same time if that makes sense I just love the way that this smells it's definitely a rose smell but if you're someone that doesn't like the smell of rose i feel like you would still definitely enjoy this fragrance just because you do get the rosy notes in it because it does have pink pepper so it has the rosy notes the rosy element to the scent but it's still very kind of like a little bit zesty in the opening it's rosy it's a little bit sweet it's a little bit warm it's very powdery it's a little bit delicate 
very very feminine and as i mentioned it's a youthful but sophisticated scent in my opinion so again that's going to be oscar de la renta bella rosa it smells absolutely amazing especially on the skin it just kind of like gets a little bit more powdery and just very feminine it's beautiful and then the last category, so the last two fragrances I want to mention to you are going to be pretty much my sweet floral scent. And yeah, so I, I just love both of these scents. So the first one is going to be this uh, fragrance that I think I mentioned to you guys, I don't know when I mentioned this, but I know that when I did talk about this fragrance, I mentioned that I actually got this from my aunt in New York when my mom and I went to New York to go visit family. And Actually, now that I just mentioned New York, I just realized I spoke to my cousin yesterday and she's like, everything is crazy. And my aunt actually works in hospitals. So I definitely am sending my prayers to you guys that live in New York just because this is definitely not something that anyone has expected. And I have a ton of family and friends that live in New York. So I definitely send my prayers to you guys. Stay safe, stay inside the house because it, your health definitely and your life depends on it. So I'm just sending out prayers to you guys. I just wanted to mention that really quickly. But I got this from my aunt that lives in New York. And I remember I went through her collection because her collection is huge. And she was like, yeah, if you want to take it. And you guys, this smells amazing. This is Miss Dior's Absolutely Blooming. And this one right here is, to me, it smells like femininity and elegance in a bottle. It is divine. I feel like every woman needs to have this scent in their collection. I feel like Dior does an amazing job at scents. I feel like the combination of all of the notes itself just smell absolutely divine. They're extremely long lasting and they're definitely scents that will get you a lot of compliments as well. But again, I don't wear fragrances to get compliments to be honest with you. I wear them for myself because I don't really like people like that. <laughs> but I feel like this is definitely one of those scents where people will smell you and will be intoxicated by your trail. It's very like sweet, it's floral. I know that a lot of people don't like just a floral scent and some people don't like just a sweet, like fruity type of scent. This doesn't give me fruity vibes, but it's still like a sweetness to it. Like maybe an amber and a honey note or something. I'm not really sure of what's in it, but that's basically what it smells like. There's a definite sweetness to it, but it doesn't smell like an artificial sweet type of scent. It smells very like, I don't know, just very elegant, very feminine, very just beautiful and seductive and sensual and just divine. Like this is definitely a fragrance that I feel like a lot of women would really enjoy and a lot of women will get a lot of use and wear out of this. And I do feel like this is definitely one of those like date night scents, but not like a date night where it's like your dress is like, I'm trying to show him what he's gonna get later type of scent. It's one of those romantic date nights. Like I'm trying to court you type of date night. Like it's one of those just elegant, classy, feminine, beautiful, sensual, seductive, confident, just beautiful, beautiful scent. This is very elegant. This is like you're dressed up. This is um, you're going to an event. This is just romance in a bottle. Like I mentioned, it's very, very elegant. So again, that's going to be Miss Dior's Absolutely Blooming. And the last one that I wanna to mention to you that's also kind of in the same category, they're both very elegant scents, but I feel like this one just surprised me just because the, okay, I'm just gonna show you guys the scent. So the scent that I'm mentioning to you is going to be this right here, which is Jimmy Choo Illicit. And the reason I'm saying that it surprised me is because one of my favorite scents is the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, but that one was one that I had to grow to love, okay? It was not a love at first sniff at all. But when I tried this out, I realized that it basically has the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo DNA, which I absolutely love now, but it also has like a floral, powdery, just elegant element to it. And I just, I was just really surprised at how well they did with this scent. Just because, as I mentioned, if you do not like the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, because you think that it's extremely, like, it's too powerful or too strong or too bold, because it does have a very, like, um, heavy patchouli note in it, if you don't like that scent, I feel like you would definitely enjoy this scent. 
And just talking about the set itself, the bottle itself just looks absolutely just kind of like glamorous and like old Hollywood, very elegant, very classy. And I just really love the bottle itself. But I do feel like this has the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo DNA, but it's a little bit softer and it definitely has more like floral, sweet type of elements to it, which makes it a little bit more versatile. And I feel like it does add a little bit more of an elegance to the set. The original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo to me is more of like a bold, powerful, strong, um, very confident, very like straightforward type of scent. But I feel like this one definitely is a little bit of a softer, like a more a approachable, but I'm still very confident in myself. I still know who I am. Like it's still a very elegant, classy, bold scent, but it's a more um, refined, a more just softer version if that makes sense and definitely more like floral and fruity as well so this is definitely one that took me by surprise because i didn't know what to expect but because i love the original jimmy choo by jimmy choo but as i mentioned i had to grow to love that scent when i smelled this i was like yes 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 <laughs> check <laughs> let, let me go to the to the um cash register right now like it was one of those sets when I picked this up. So again, that's going to be Jimmy Choo Illicit. And this is also the Eau de Parfum. As I mentioned, just more elegant, more refined, a little bit softer and more like floral and fruity in comparison to the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. So I absolutely love this set as well. So those are going to be my six fragrances that were love at first sniff. I did not have to grow to love these scents. These were fragrances that literally I took it out the package or I sprayed it on my skin and I was like, you are coming home with me, okay? And we will be together forever type of scent. And I just wanted to share those with you guys in case you are looking to maybe build your collection a little bit. I tried to give you guys a little bit of a description as to what these smell, what these scents actually smell like, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys while you're shopping. I will make sure to leave links for everything listed down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of these scents. But also let me know down in the comments section below if you guys enjoy these scents as much as I do and also let me know what fragrances in your collection currently were love at first sniff I would definitely love to hear from you guys as well but that's going to be it thank you guys so much for tuning into another video again if you guys love fragrance related videos fragrance related content make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more I hope you guys are staying safe I hope you guys have an awesome day and God willing I'll see you guys next time bye